Hey, what's up and welcome to the next You're Bad at Walmart video. This is where we look at the people of Walmart. The strange people who frequent Walmart for their great prices and their lax clothing optional stuff. You know, like great prices, no clothing. It's a perfect combination for insane people. So let's just get right into it. This is You're Bad at Walmart number 41. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up? First, I'm gonna start with this picture, and the problem with this picture isn't that he's wearing this giant spoon, but it's that I have had this picture for so long and I just can't come up with anything funny to say about it. Oh, usually I can just come up with something on the spot. It's not a big deal. This picture, I have put it into so many of my videos and then taken it out at the last minute where I'm like, this is gonna go in a Walmart video finally today. And then I'm like, nah, I just, I'm not feeling it. And I, just, I always come up with an excuse to take it out. And it's usually because I can't think of anything to say about it. And I know you think I'm building up to like, oh, I finally have a joke for this one. I finally have it. No. This is the joke, okay? The fact that I can't come up with a joke. I just, that's my way of getting it into a video finally. I can't think of shit. So if you can think of something funny to say about this, maybe something like in reference to Flava Flav or something, I don't know, leave a comment down below. Make a joke for this one yourself because I can't think of shit. Here's a man with a chicken on his back. This chicken could belong to him or this could just be a random wild chicken running around Walmart because it's Walmart, anything's possible. I just don't understand when people have like birds on their backs. You know that bird's just gonna shit down your back, right? Is this for like the good luck factor? Because people say when a bird poos on you, it's good luck. So is this for like the good luck factor? I never got that. A bird poops on your head and everyone's like, oh, that's a good luck thing. Don't worry. It was very lucky that now you have shit on your face. You're a really lucky person because that bird pooed in your mouth. No, it's just to make you feel better because you just got pooped on. Oh, here's a computer thing that someone posted. Hold on, let me just, I'll read it to you so it makes sense. A computer has calculated the average face for various locations around the world. China, Korea, Japan, Mongolia, Ukraine, Sweden, Poland, Walmart. Oh, oh Walmart, come on. That's someone's grandma, okay? Just because she goes to Walmart, Looks a little weird. That is someone's grandma, and I'm sure she's a really friendly person who just happens to love drugs. Here is, um, I can't figure out if this is a grown man doing this or a large child. Maybe just a large man child? This is one of the classic ways to travel through Walmart, laying on the bottom of the cart. I picture this as like a 35-year-old man who hasn't moved out of his house yet, and this is what he used to do when he was like an 8-year-old, and he just never grew out of it. He just always does that now. So now this man is still living with his mom and still acting like a child, and the mom is just, you know, buying into it, just like, fine, whatever. He likes when I bang his head off displays while we're at Walmart, okay? Or maybe they're just doing it as a joke. If you're just doing it as a joke, then I get it. It's funny. Whatever. You're just you're trying to get viral on the internet. But if this is like a legitimate thing you think is okay to do and you don't care about what people think, wow. Rethink your life. Here's an alien at Walmart. What the fuck? Knees don't work that way. God. Oh. How are you standing like that? How is this possible? It is creeping me the fuck out. Seriously, that might be an alien. You didn't know your knees disconnected. I read a book like this once, okay? And the aliens, their knees went the, the opposite way. It was like Sleeping Giants or something like that was the book. It's like the only book I've read in like the last 10 years. There's a cat in my room. What the fuck? I don't own a cat. Creepy, man. I don't know where this cat came from. I guess she has like double jointed knees or something. Or maybe when she was younger, someone kicked her knees out. You know, it's a thing. Remember I did that video that I don't think all of you saw that video, but it was about kicking knees out. It's called How to Win a Fight Every Time. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Needs more views. That video needs more views. Here's a man dressed up like a clown. And you know what? This one might look strange to you. Like, why the hell is this guy dressed like a clown? But when I found this on Reddit, the comments underneath kind of brought light to me at least to how this situation might have come to be. Because you see he has his daughter with him, so I'm guessing his daughter wanted him to dress like a clown and go shopping. And so basically what we're seeing here is a really good dad. We are seeing a very good father. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Not a crazy person at Walmart, but just a loving father. Now this clown here I have no excuse for. That guy looks like he's gonna murder someone. This guy is doing it for all the wrong reasons, okay? He's there just to creep people out. 
He's there to find a victim. Holy shit, living that Smurf life. Is this just grown up Smurfette? But even Smurfette had blonde hair, right? I'm thinking maybe this person robbed a bank. Maybe that's what happened. One of those blue dye packs got them. And now to cover it up, they're just wearing a ton of blue. They're like, no, this is just a way of life for me. That's why I'm covered in blue. Mm, there's a song that comes to mind. Can you guess it? She's even got like a blue little teddy bear in her hand or something. Again, this is a person who this has just been a way of their life for years, I bet. They'd always dress in blue. Blue hair, blue everything. Blue is their house. Do you think the carpet matches the drapes? Like, do you think that her drapes in her house are blue and the carpet is also blue? What were you thinking I was saying? You sicko. Here's the uh, beaver. No, no, no. Here's Butthead doing some shopping at Walmart. He needs some teepee for his bung haul. That's the obvious joke here, right? What are these sleeves you're wearing? Are you wearing socks on your hands and a shirt on your head? Crazy. Actually, this is pretty tame for Walmart. Maybe this is a ghost haunting Walmart. Actually, this is pretty tame for Walmart, all right? This guy's actually wearing clothes. He's just wearing his normal clothes in a weird way. Home Depot paint mixers have read it. What is the weirdest thing you've had to color match? Worked at a Walmart about 18 years ago and had to occasionally run the paint area. Worked at a Walmart about 18 years ago and had to occasionally run the paint area. Wife and husband brought a four foot by four foot piece of wall that they painted. They wanted me to match it. The wife then pulls a paint splotch from her purse and says something like, this is the paint we use from Home Depot. Some people are just born to entertain. So wait, so they brought in a four foot by four foot piece of drywall that was painted and then also brought in the splotch, which would, would have been the only thing they needed to bring in. See, I don't think these people are crazy. I think they're prepared. Cause I've gone to paint centers before where they have completely steered me the wrong way. They're like, this paint is good for what you're trying to do. And then you get home and use it and it chips and it's not the right paint. I bet you they just wanted to make sure they were getting the right shit. They probably tried to get this splotch matched kept getting the wrong color so this time they're like we're bringing in a piece of the wall and we're gonna paint that piece of wall right there and if it's wrong they're gonna fix it right then and there because there's nothing worse than thinking you got what you need and then you drive all the way home and then you realize it's not what you need and if you live in an area like me i'm not like right in town okay i have to drive 20 minutes there 20 minutes back just to go into town so that's 40 minutes of my life if you mess something up if i get the wrong meal at mcdonald's i'm not going back because i don't want to spend 40 minutes to correct my burger anyway can you tell us a little bit of a pet peeve of mine but maybe they're just crazy okay i'm probably i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt but maybe they're just not very smart and crazy but i would like to think that they got fucked over and they're just sick of it that's probably what happened oh shoot is that wonder woman shit in the flesh wonder woman had to get some milk what is happening here why did you go to Walmart dressed like this and all you have is milk? Is that milk? Could be like bleach or something. Still, I just feel like this person came from like some crazy sex party and they're like, oh, we need more milk to pour all over. The milk section, it's uh, it's getting a little dry. We don't have any more milk for the milk fetish people, you know? They're like, oh, I'll run out. Don't worry, I'll run out real quick. Do you want a robe? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. People will think I'm Wonder Woman. I'll blend right in. I'll go to Walmart. I'll blend right in. Here's a bunch of people wearing newspaper. Wow, that's good. That's a good quality garment made out of newspaper. Just make sure someone doesn't pee on you. Like a dog might just come over and pee on you thinking that you're the spot to go. I don't know. That's all I got for that one. <laughs> Here is the queen of the mullet. All right. Don't anybody ever try to take her throne. This is the queen of the mullet. There might be a king of a mullet out there somewhere. I'm sure they also go to Walmart, but this is the queen of the mullet. Actually, this looks like she's at Target. Walmart is not that red, that's for sure. Here is the best way to leave a Walmart. This is actually a good wholesome one. It's like a light-hearted prank. The guy's seriously got some moves though, like for real. I would be doing that shit all the time if I could do this kind of dance move. I think the worst part about this video is the Walmart greeter is so on guard because he's probably so used to people fucking with him. This guy's actually doing like a light-hearted little prank. No one's getting hurt. Just a fun little dance. <laughs> and that guy's standing there like, when's he gonna just take his pants off and start punching me in the face? When no, this guy was just being, he was being fucking cool, all right? I wish I was as cool as him, but I'm not. I can't dance. My daughter's been dancing like me lately because sometimes I'll just like dance to music around the house. It's not good dancing. And she's learning all her dance moves from me and I'm very alarmed by this. I'm, I'm scared for her. <laughs> and let's end with a not so wholesome one, okay? This one is in the public freak out category. <laughs> Mm. 
It's not zooming in. Yeah, this woman is just screaming and screaming and you know what they eventually do figure out how to zoom in but there's more to this video but when they finally realize to zoom in that's when this woman starts taking her clothes off. She ends up with her boobs out basically on the table swinging them around at these officers using them basically like weapons to try and defend herself from the officers who are arresting her. Oh, it's bad and it cannot be shown on YouTube. I showed you as much as I could. I will tell you that in the video, the part of the video I showed you, she is wearing clothing. So do not worry about that. But not for much longer after. Oh shit, it was <laughs> crazy. Uh, it's like the guy's like, oh, I figured out how to zoom in. Zoom out, zoom out. And there was some comments underneath. I found this one on Reddit also. And there were some comments underneath that kind of explain what happened to this woman and why she was freaking out like this. So let's read those. Backstory, a woman that works for the bank in the Greenville NC Walmart was confronted by her employer that they had proof of her stealing money and they had the cops on the way. She then proceeded to flip her shit. So she was caught stealing from the bank that she works at and her first reaction was to scream at the top of her lungs and just freak out in public. How is that gonna help your situation? But then the next comments underneath, they try to get into more of like the science behind it or the the medical or the, the mental thing that was going you know let's let's just read it they explain it better than me it's interesting how she felt so exposed by being accused or discovered as a thief that she maximized the embarrassment and exposure she felt by taking off her clothes there might be a name for this finding some way to heighten a negative emotion by causing more of the same i'm just not sure what that's called titty tantrum thank you doctor ah that's what it was she took, oh, why is it so bright in here all of a sudden? The sun came out finally today. I hate it. Close the blinds. I don't want the sun in my face. Okay, so yeah, there's, there you have it. She took a titty tantrum. That's what it was. That's when you take your titties out, you swing them around, and scream. A titty tantrum. Man, Reddit is, some of the smartest people are on Reddit. I'll just say that. <laughs> anyway. That's the video today, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.